London is the most fantastic multiracial city. But because there's been no, no specific incident in the last week, doesn't mean racism is dead. And with the government policies coming on, I'm really concerned they're going to hit people so hard, create dis, uh, dissatisfaction and uh, attack cohesion in society. So this is a really important time for anti-racists. The greatest thing about this city is its people. We have more people from more places than any other city on earth. The mayor of New York, when they were bidding for the Olympics, used to say, CIC, we have 200 languages spoken in our schools. But I could top it by saying, we got 300. Virtually every nationality on the face of the planet is in this city, and it works. And it's our greatest strength. We continue to celebrate our diversity. No better way of doing it than with a bloody good day of music. Thanks very much. People like you are making small films about it. The arguments are carried out on the internet. People hear speeches like the one just recently from Ken Livingstone. Um, the coverage enables people to discuss it. You can come here to the Union City tent and you can discuss it with stallholders. So it opens up people's thinking. I think it's really important that London has a history of an anti-racism festival that celebrates diversity and that brings together different campaigns around London. And the fact that it's free, of course, so it engages a lot of young people from around London, which is really important. It's fun because there's a tremendous the positive spirits about it. Celebrate, educate, uprise. So that's what we want to do, literally, 24-7. That's the idea. And we want the event of Uprise, the festival, to be more like a yearly anniversary than Uprise itself. Because we think the whole point of an initiative, which is an anti-racist initiative, which is one that is about education, and helping communities to understand one another better so that they can in turn understand themselves better is a year-long struggle and it can become a year-long success. great thing for London. I remember coming here, so it's real privilege to be able to come back here and play. It's about Londoners standing up against racism and the people have kind of risen up and decided, you know what, we're going to put it on anyway, and that's cool. I think it's a very, very important uh, event here. It's really important that everybody stands up and, and is counted in the fight against racism. of communities there are, the how we all feel about the city, whether we come from London or not, or whether we're immigrants like me from up north. We all love London and we love it because of its diversity. But at the same time, there are very dark forces that work in some of the far-right fascist parties, and we mustn't pretend that they're not there. We have to challenge them all the time. Drumming, drumming, drumming. 
music we love what um, upright stands for and also to support our friends the weather wouldn't have kept us away because we knew what the bill was like I mean you've got people like Ty, Imani and Aruba Red who's on right now and it's free so we can't lose really and this is a really good melting pot of cultures and races a positive example of what community can be like for young Is a, is a festival by the people, for the people, bringing London's communities together for one day to celebrate diversity and fight racism. Uprise people, are you ready for some two-step? If you're ready for some two-step, let me hear you say, yeah, yeah! yeah. yeah. Yo, baseline, make your ass get my beat. Turn it down the city, we can't correct it. A lot of um, festivals are, are music, purely music-based, and that's, not, that's all good, do you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, when you've got a festival that actually has a meaning behind it is around for a reason. That makes it that much more special, do you know what I'm saying? So I think that's probably what it is that makes separates it from others still. I know something good is coming. I don't have to be too worried. I still want to hear you sing for me now. Hey, 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 come on. Yeah, I said you know it's my resolution this time. I'm gonna be free. Yeah. Part because I wanted to support the cause. I think it's a fantastic cause. Anti-racism. It's something that people think big times are getting better, but they're not. So we still have to make an effort and we still have to make people aware of what's going on. So I took part because I had to. Infinite eternal existence. Infinite eternal existence. Hardship always brings out the best in things and I might have had some hard times with this budget cut but now I guess it's time for it to step up and become even better. There's so much negativity around that it's important that we make a stand for positivity and to be up against racism and unite behind that cause is powerful. I love to be a part of it. Okay, okay. All my hip hop people, put your hands in the air. Oh, 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 my goodness. I think it's special because it's the first time I've seen a festival that people actually wanted and fought to bring back. Most people just accept any festival that's out there, if it's there, you do it. For the couple of years when I've been to it, it was one of the only festivals where you'd see a real range of all different artists, international artists and really interesting artists and on an open stage for free. The idea of that kind of disappearing is really somber. It was raining and people wouldn't go anywhere. You know, that says a lot. Alive, you could not come near me. Where I'm from, I probably make twice the money. If my skin was a different color, ain't that funny? But they say I'm too proud, try and take that from me. You get slapped in your neck back, we ain't dummies. Who's your crew? Cause if you're cool, then we're cooling. No half stepping, no buffoon. And if you're looking for a I'm sorry, but you can get a King Kong in your mixtape with a lorry. Cause that's a long thing, plus a joke thing, clearly. Don't really mind if the folks don't hear me. Radio's whack, that's a confirmed theory. When it comes alive, you cannot come near me. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Government, parliament, if you want the real thing, let us begin.